Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drastically lower input delay in all games using the data quiz sizes. We are going to be using the mouse and keyboard data quiz sizes to lower the input delay in every game that you play. Now I know that a lot of you guys have already changed these values at some point, but I'm pretty sure that most of you guys don't even know what they actually do and how to properly change them. So that's what I'm here to explain for and before getting into that guys, 89% of you watching my videos are not even subscribed. It's only fair that if you guys are watching the videos then you subscribe as well. So make sure to press that subscribe button right now. And with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. So I want to start off this video by explaining what data quiz sizes are. So for the mouse data quiz size, it specifies the number of mouse events buffered by your mouse driver. Hence lowering its value will lower the mouse input delay. Then for the keyboard data quiz size, it specifies the number of keyboard events buffered by your keyboard driver. Once again, lowering its value will lower the keyboard input delay. So the basic concept is lowering the value of data quiz size will lower your input delay. However, there is a little catch. Setting these values too low can cause issues such as mouse clicks not registering, keyboard keys not registering, mouse pointer teleportation, auto right clicking, mouse glitches and stuff like that. But don't worry, it won't harm your PC and it's super easy to divert these changes. So now that we have explained the data quiz sizes and you guys roughly have an idea what they actually do, I'm going to be showing you guys how to manually change and test the data quiz sizes. However, for those of you guys who don't want to do this manually and instead want to do it automatically using registry files, you can go ahead and download this data quiz sizes pack from the description and inside of here I have all of the mouse data quiz size values just keep in mind that these are general values and for more specific values you will have to follow the manual method another thing to keep in mind is that you guys want to start from the bottom and then make your way up to the top because the highest value is at the bottom and then this bad file will just go ahead and open up the registry key inside of the registry editor and the default of course contains the default value then going back and into the keyboard data query sizes, once again it's the same thing here and then we have an extra folder which I'm going to be explaining later because it's optional so stick around for that as well. Now to start changing the value and explaining the stuff as we do we need to open up the registry editor. In order to do that hold down your windows key and press the R key at the same time then go ahead and type in reg edit. Go ahead and press enter and this should open up registry editor. Of course, it won't look like this for you, it will look something like this. Just go ahead and expand down the edge key local machine, then go ahead and expand down system. Under that, expand the current control set and under that, go ahead and expand down the services. Now inside of here, just go ahead and click anywhere and then press the M key so that we go to the M letter. And then we want to find the MOU class key. Then go ahead and expand it down and click on the parameters sub key. Now for some of you guys, you might not have this sub key and you have two options, either create it manually or create it automatically. If you want to create it manually, just go ahead and right click, click new key, name it parameters, then go inside of it, new D word and name it mouse data quiz size. However, if you want to do it automatically, just go ahead and open up my pack Go into the mouse data quiz size, go into default and apply this and it will automatically create this parameter key and this dword inside of it as well. So once you guys are here, go ahead and open up the mouse data quiz size dword and we are going to be setting the base to decimal and I'm going to be explaining why we do this. So basically there is actually no need for you to set the base to decimal. We only do this to make the whole process easier for us. The thing is that if you guys see the value in decimal is 100. That's the default value by the way. However, if I go ahead and change the base to hexadecimal, it changes to 64. So 64 hex is equal to 100 decimal. If I go ahead and change this to let's say a value of 60 decimal and then change to hexadecimal, it changes to 3C. So you guys see that the values in hexadecimal are more complicated than you think. However, the values in decimal are pretty much straight, simple to follow and easier to work with. So that's the whole reason we set the base to decimal so that the value data is easier to work with. Now as I told you guys, the default value is 100. So in order to start the testing, we want to start with a lower value. The lower this value is, the lower your input delay. 
so i recommend starting from anywhere like 50 to 40 usually i would do go ahead and do 40 then hit ok restart your pc and then go ahead and test this value see that if you guys have any mouse glitches or mouse teleportations anything like that if you guys don't have then you can go ahead and decrease the value even further the way i like to test it is i go into the fortnite creative in an empty map and just crank some builds or do some edits it's the easiest way in my opinion but you can go ahead and do it in your game of choice play a match or two play a game or two whatever you want just make sure that you are not having any such issues such as mouse teleportation clicks not registering at any rate at the value of 40 most of you guys won't have any issues once again make sure the base is set to decimal and now we are going to be lowering the value to the value of 30 hit ok and then go ahead and restart your pc now for most of you guys even on 30 you won't have any issues but some of you guys with really bad hardware will start noticing issues so if you do start noticing these issues such as mouse teleportation or glitch or clicks not registering etc just go ahead and hold down the power button and force shut down your pc then again press the power button which will go ahead and boot up your pc come here into the reg edit Go ahead and edit this value and this time you guys want to increase it so let's say i was having trouble with the value 30 however the value 40 was working perfectly fine now what i would do is set the value between 30 and 40. so let's just say i set the value to 34 hit ok test this value if it's working fine then i want to lower this value once again set this to 33 now once again restart the pc and do the test and then let's just assume that i am having errors once again then this just means that the lowest possible value which is stable for me is 34 since i am having issues on 33 and 34 is working perfectly fine so this is basically how you guys go ahead and find out which value works best for you the way i tested my value was first i set this to 40 test that then set this to 30 test that just make sure that you change the base to decimal set this to 30 test that then go ahead and set this to 20 and uh, test that and it was working perfectly fine then i went ahead and set the value to 16. under 20 you guys want to make sure that you are only changing the value by 4. you guys don't want to go like from 20 to 10 but you guys want to go from 20 to maybe 18 or 16 and then 14 or 12. once you get under 20 just lower the value by 2 at a time so i went and go ahead and set this to 16 and tested that and i started noticing the issue of mouse glitching then i went back and set this value to 18 and then tested that it was still glitching then i went ahead and set the value to 20 once again and it was perfectly fine so the value that worked for me was 20. now if you guys have super good hardware you can go as low as 12 and even under 10 but most of the times you guys will have the value of 20 that will work best for you so under 20 just make sure that you proceed with caution 20 should be the last value that works stable for most of the people that is what worked best for me so i'm gonna go ahead and click ok so that's it for the mouse data key sizes and then in order to change the keyboard data key sizes that's actually even easier so what you want to do is click anywhere press k so that it goes to the k class and then you guys will find the kbd class key then go ahead and expand it down go into parameters once again if you guys don't have this sub key you can go into my pack go into keyboard default and apply this registry file and then you guys will have this then go ahead and open up the keyboard data quiz as d word set it to decimal by default it will be 100 once again so as for the keyboard value what you guys want to do is basically set it to what you set your mouse value to so for me it was 20 make sure that it's decimal hit ok restart your pc and it should work fine keyboard drivers tend to usually go a lot lower than your mouse drivers so for me what i did was once again set this to 16 test that it was perfectly fine set this to 14 it was once again perfectly fine then i went ahead and set this to 12 it was working perfectly fine so what i did was i just went ahead and stick with 12 because for the keyboard i don't usually recommend anything under 12 but you can go ahead and test it and do that if you want but most of the time you will have this issue of keys not registering so sticking with 12 for most of the people will be beneficial just make sure that it's decimal hit ok and now you can go ahead and restart your pc 
so that is the manual method on how you guys can do it if you guys are here for the automatic method what you need to do is for, for is first for the mouse go ahead and apply this registry file make sure that it's working fine playing play a match play a game whatever then go ahead and use this restart your pc test it then this then this and then this and then this of course and all of that and then there is the default value if you want to revert same thing with the keyboard data key size you can go ahead and do that but in my opinion the manual method is a lot more precise let's say for example 16 wasn't working for you however 20 was working perfectly fine so in the case of automatic method you are stuck with 20 however if you go ahead and open this up you can go ahead and set this to a value such as 18 as well if you want make sure that it's decimal and set this to 18 as well if you want so that's basically just the gist of it and then i want to talk about this extra one so what you guys want to do is go ahead and open it up it's completely optional go into device cleanup x64 right click run it as administrator these are basically all of the devices that were once connected to your pc and when Windows just goes ahead and registers them as the devices that were once connected to your PC otherwise known as non-present devices so these are basically ghost devices that are not now connected to your PC what we are going to be doing is deleting the registry value for them in order to lower the latency so what you guys want to do is click on this last use click on it once again and then go ahead and select all of the devices that were used like maybe more than seven days ago or something like that so in my case i'm gonna go ahead and select it until 22 days just make sure that all of them are selected click on device remove selected and it is going to remove all of those devices you can go ahead and remove each and every device but that's not what i recommend just in case to be safe go ahead and remove those devices which were last used above 15 days so once that is done you can close out of this restart your pc and enjoy the low input delay so yeah guys that's basically it for this video i really hope that this video helps you guys in understanding how data quiz size works and how to use them and if this video helps you guys then make sure to leave a like down below also guys once again 89 percent of you watching my videos are not even subscribed so make sure that you press that subscribe button and with all of that said i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome